All right, Rachel, thank you. Back to that breaking news tonight. Police say a motorcyclist is dead after a crash in Vernon. Brian Didlake joins us live now from the scene. Brian, what do you have? Uh, Brent, we just got here to the scene and we're going to be talking a moment with Lieutenant Meyer from Vernon Police, but we do want to say that this is a tragic incident already from what we are hearing from uh, just police and from what we witnessed here so far. Uh, right now, you see that uh, bar part of Talcottville Road is shut down for the time being, and of course, uh, people who are going to be coming near this area need to avoid this area at, at this time, but you want to go ahead and start talking with uh, Lieutenant Meyer from the Vernon Police Department and uh, Lieutenant, uh, what happened and uh, what can you tell us so far? So just before nine, uh, we were called to Route 83 Talcaville Road uh, for a report of a car versus motorcycle collision. And when the police officers arrived on scene, uh, they found the male motorcycle operator uh, pronounced dead at the scene. Uh, we have a reconstruction team here. Uh, the road will remain closed while the reconstruction team does their work. And we expect the road to be closed for the next several hours. Gotcha. And do you, we have uh, alternate routes for people at home? I'm sorry? Alternate routes for people at home? Uh, yes. Um, it, there's some short detours uh, for people at home. There are people uh, at the traffic points, police officers, that can help direct people around the scene. No, I understand that we're not um, uh, releasing the, the identity of this person at this time. Has family been notified? Have, they, have you talked to them yet? We're just in the initial stage of the investigation. Um, we have spoken to some family. However, uh, we are not releasing any more information about the identity at this time. All right, thank you for your time. Of course, we're going to keep up this uh, and keep up to date with this, and we'll get more information back to you when we have it. But for now, we're alive in Vernon. Brian Ditlick.